welcome to this week's wellness wednesday video i am paya fitzgerald your wellness tactician and i am here with wow factor in partnership with columbus city schools staff wellness initiative all right today whoo today have a good one for you but let me get you warmed up get ready to laugh guess what i don't trust stairs okay they're always up to something or they're always letting you down. Ah, I know, it's great, it's great, come on and laugh. All right, so you can only imagine, here's our two polarities today. We have when you move from a place of strength, that's trust. Conversely, when you're moving from a place of struggle, typically you're in a place of doubt. So we have trust over doubt. So when we think about trust, whether we're leading ourselves, interacting with others, it can be hard because it's about relationship. A lot of times when you're untrusting, it's usually because you have to start with looking inside. It's something about you, inside you that you don't trust. And I'm not trying to dismiss any experiences that it may have affirmed that you shouldn't trust people. But a lot of times I just want you to think about that. Become curious. What is it that you don't trust about you? Because a lot of times that is where when you're not trusting of yourself, that's where the doubt comes in, all right? And that lack of trust often stems from a place of lack and scarcity. When you can trust more, you are more likely resting in a mindset of abundance and prosperity. And I'm not just talking about money. I'm just talking about the abundance of the goodness of life, okay? Successful leaders build trust by seeing people as people, not as objects. Another thing that might be getting in the way is how often are you being judgmental? If you've judged someone in the past, often you are going to be more reluctant to be trusting because that judgment is going to come back on you. So ask yourself, are you being too judgmental? That might be getting in the way of your trust and causing you doubt unnecessarily. And I want to also to help you with this. Doubt blinds you. When you are looking at things with all this fear and doubt, it does not allow you to see opportunities and possibilities. It's blinding, so it just does not serve you well. You don't even need to have a healthy measure of doubt. Just trust the process, trust yourself, stop second guessing yourself, trust your team. And if they're not doing the things that you want them to do the way, then work with them. Trust that you have what it takes to work with them. Trust that you have what it takes to find the skills or help they need to do what needs to be done. But trust that they can do it and they're not objects, they are people, all right? Now here's your assignment. Trust is again, it's about this mindset. It's about how you see the world. One way to do that is to celebrate what you're grateful for. What do you appreciate? I don't know if you do a gratitude list each night, but if you just take 30 seconds, I mean just 30 seconds every night and rewire your brain, focusing on what you're grateful for, you will find a shift that will take place because the more you focus on what's positive, what's working well, what you can celebrate, the easier it is to see things from a trustful perspective because now you're building up that currency, that mental and emotional currency. All right, so go ahead and try that out for this week, just 30 seconds for seven days. Gratitude, what are you grateful for? What are you appreciating? And I don't care if you repeat it. I say the same things every night, so what? It's not about the things itself, it's about what it's making me feel like, how it's allowing me to see the world, and it works for me. Take it from me, trust looks good on you. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week's Wellness Wednesday video. Bye-bye.